another quick showcase uh, showing you some French foot knights and men at arms from Perry miniatures, late Hundred Years War. And uh, let us see them closer. The good thing with the French is that if you check their coat of arms, the colors of different areas, there are so many different colors. You can have purples, reds, yellows, um, a bit earthy colors, blues. Uh, it's not only uh, the blue uh, color of uh, the French flag. Uh, you have so many options with the French being a big country with many different types of coat of arms and also types of you know areas like Gascony and Normandy and Brittany and all these places um, so in with the French knights and men at arms you can really really you know go out there and do whatever you want um, you can see here the difference you can see here this guy is let's say it's man at arm heavy infantry how you can you know how you can make them look a bit different. You see more colors for the knights uh, with a shield, maybe if you want to. I like shields. Uh, type of coat of arms here you see here for this uh, knight. And uh, for a, a lesser knight, a man at arms, this guy could be a retainer, uh, a, a more simple clothing uh, with no coat of arms, just maybe earthy colors that uh, could. Uh, make him look different than his uh, knight counterparts. For the knights, you see, you can put uh, some very, very elaborate color combinations to show that they are, you know, knights uh, with coat of arms and, and the shields and everything. So there is a way to distinct, even if they are the same. Although you see here, you choose, um, you see here you have the same, you have uh, uh, in the neck you have chainmail and in the back here the neck is chainmail but you can see the distinction between these two one is a knight obviously and the other one is a lesser man at arm, he could be a squire just very simply with simple colors, not many combinations, uh, avoiding um, uh, types of uh, coat of arms designs on uh, the breastplates, you can make a very easy distinction. Very nice miniatures uh, from Claymore, from, excuse me, from um, Perry, uh, perfect for the later parts of the Hundred Years' War. Um, really, I like them, and um, I think um, uh, it's perfect for gamers who want to fight after 1380s, end of um, 14th century, up to the middle of the 15th century. So, this is from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the miniatures. Stay tuned for more battle reports. I'm preparing a big one here, as you can see. I'm not going to show you more, but see. And there's many more um, guys to come. So it's just a small preview with a lot of hedges. Anyway, we'll see this later. Uh, so thanks from, uh, for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. And um, beautiful nights. Highly recommend them. Uh, easy to make them uh, different look like men at arms or lesser knights and higher ranking nobles. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, bye bye.